Welcome to Learning Through Play using the Minecraft EDU edition. The EDU edition of Minecraft is like a virtual classroom. The children are able to explore in this particular aspect ancient China and the digital historian project. The children are learning about ancient China and within the ICT lessons where it's cross-curricular they're able to explore the Forbidden City as though they're actually there. The model that the digital historian project build is a real size one-to-one -one environment that the children can go and build historical artifacts and these artifacts are the inventions that the, that the Chinese were building of, at that time. The children have a choice of what they can build and they have to prove that they understand how this changes over time. The children here are building bridges and their choices they can either build it all old and authentic or half old and half new. We're going to slow the video down in a second. You'll see that some children have gone further and built coins. This coin here on the other side has an older version. This is a new coin that the, that the children built out of gold. The girls here are building part of their bridges. And we've slowed the boys down here because you can see the screen on the left is a new version of a suspension bridge. And the screen in the center is actually an old, authentic bridge. Next, we're going to move into the Year 6 aspect of Minecraft EDU and how they understand citizenship, governance, and the aspects of governance around the world and over time. So they go through different phases of what happens in government because the children in the classes are split into four distinct areas. And each area has its own attributes. So here you've got the farming district and they control pretty much all the food is available to the other three areas. However, the farmers still need wood and they still need certain materials such as gold and oil to be able to go and trade with other areas. The trading though causes a bit of an issue because it has to be fair. They have to think about taxes, they have to think about how much certain materials cost compared to other materials. However, anarchy at some point causes quite a few issues. Hi girls, what's happening with your what's happening with your world at the moment? I'm destroying it. There's no rules anymore, so um we're not coming in and destroying it. Is that allowed? No. It's well, not allowed. It is because there's no rules but like just how respect you wouldn't go to people buying and like Out of respect, do you think all respect has been lost at the moment? Yeah. Yeah. That's what so what's happening what's your assignment at the moment? Our assignment at the moment is as soon as we make one, they're just destroying it. Well, Mr. Steven, the destroyed our whole thing. So we try to make it alive. So are you, are, are you hoping at the moment that there's going to be laws and rules soon? Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, we want to make it as... But we don't have any wood, so we can't make anything. Anarchy is just one aspect of learning within this type of activity. They learn about dictatorship, they learn about democracy, and they learn about Singapore and what happens with the laws and the citizens within Singapore. They have time to reflect on this, they have time to write up about this. Their language becomes rich, deep, and their knowledge and understanding of why certain things happen within the world becomes a lot more compounded. All in all, a rich aspect to the digital citizenship curriculum.